What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, how you doing? We are at the hardware store. What do you call this? Lumber store? Hardware store? Menards. Yeah. Big Menards guy. Uh, think your mask on. Back, you're you're, back, you're backwards. backwards. Oh, does it not work this way? No, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but no, you, see, you look a little... That one lets, lets in. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to yeah, leave it this yeah, way. Yeah. I mean, if you want to leave it, you go, you go right ahead. Anyways, we are at Menards. Today, we are starting, hopefully, a, I mean, it shouldn't take too long. Not nearly as long as the pontoon boat uh, build, but we are going to convert one of my John boats into a bass boat. This is a video I've done on this channel like three or four times. I feel like I do it every year. Um, but this one is, this is the biggest one yet. It's the biggest boat. It's not just take a piece of plywood, wrap it in carpet and slap it on top. It's take two pieces of plywood, wrap it in carpet and slap it on top. It's going to take a little bit of trickiness, innovative, innovation-ness, smart skip. It, it's going to take a little bit, a little bit of dangle. Let's just call it that. It's going to, it's going to be interesting. I've never built a dangling. <laughs> oh, you see, it's going to be like one of them guys <laughs> hanging on for dear life but we are rolling into the store so we got to get some plywood materials carpet glue and we are going to convert a john boat into a bass fishing rig the old dangle uh, we got to come up with a name for this thing at some point once it once it's finished we'll, we'll try to name it and then we're going to take it on try to catch some fish on the pond probably not today you can tell it's rainy tomorrow's supposed to rain and then the next day should be clear so we've got like two days to get this complete before it's nice and sunny and then we're gonna take it fishing you guys stay tuned oh yeah they got her son my favorite 82 dollar sheet of plywood that is my favorite was it hang on do you want do you want half inch no no you want you, some, want, you want that thick boy. what's funny though is this was like 73 dollars when we did the pontoon video oh rip yeah how does it go ten dollars in like two three weeks they knew you're coming back yeah i mean $82 a sheet. We need two sheets. Luckily, we need two freaking sheets. So normally when you do these, we don't even usually get marine. We normally just get normal plywood and then we seal it. We, you know, you take paint, some uh, like oil-based paint or whatever, and you do a couple of different coats like we did the pontoon boat. We're kind of lazy. And also, I mean, it's marine grade, which means it should be, you know, pretty, hopefully water resistant-ish. I don't know. I'm not super worried about it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of interested as well because like I said, I've done this project many times and every time I've sealed it, I want to see how long would a deck last if you didn't seal it. Will it last a year? Will it last three years? Will it last five, ten? Because let's be honest, like if this thing, if we get two seasons out of it, that's a dub in my book. That lasts more longer than most of the things that we end up building anyway. So we're going to not seal it. We're going to buy the nice plywood. And some of you guys might be cursing us saying, quit being lazy, you should just seal it. only takes like two days and then you'll be good. But for my own knowledge, I've always sealed it because everyone always tells me to seal I kind of want to see because this is probably going to be like out in the elements all the time It's going to get rained on and the sun's going to be shining and it's going to be sitting in the snow Like this is not a garage kept boat by any means So we're really going to see what how durable an $83 sheet of marine grade plywood because if this doesn't last What's the point of buying marine grade? I feel isn't that the whole point? Do you think like so? what marine is water that means it's made for water So why would I have to see it? Why would I buy that? Why wouldn't I just go buy normal plywood and then seal it myself? That's kind of where my head's at. Does it make sense to just spend the extra money and not seal it? Or should we be better off buying the cheaper plywood and then sealing it ourselves? We're here. This is a Mythbusters edition. It's also my excuse because I'm being lazy about it and don't really want to have to mess with it. So big sheet of plywood guy. You got it. I can't. I just can't believe it's $83. Never in my life did I think a piece of wood would be $83. Yeah, like it, it literally makes no sense to me why it went up $10 in the last couple weeks. We need to get the wood How business. straight is that? Uh, you know, not straight. Not very straight. You want a straighter piece? Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna screw it down. Uh -huh. No, We're she's setting her on floater. The of the she's a floater. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't plan on screwing it down. If we have to screw it down, we can. But I like to usually not because for like duck hunting, you want to rip it out. So I don't want to have to screw it down. Yeah. So is that thing straight? Let's see. Does she look straight? Straight. Er ish. I know the other ones are straighter. What's that guy look like? Set her up on end. Curve like your weenie. Oh god, yeah. Curved? A little bit. Shoo! We got it, because I was just looking at this. So this is the same thing, is it not? Five, well, is that three quarter? Five eighths. Three quarters thicker than five eighths. It's been a while since I've done math. I was trying to figure out what the math, what the no, that's three eighths. What what, what the cost comparison is. This, is this, oh, here it is, three quarter. Okay, three. quite a bit, like $30. But it's not marine though, technically. That's, that's what I'm saying, so like, oh. does, does it make more sense? Like if I have to seal it, 
why wouldn't I just buy the cheap stuff, right? Yeah, that's so that's kind of what we're gonna try it. Like normally we buy this and then we seal it. Can we get away with that and not seal it? I don't know, I didn't do my wood research here, but I think I could do it cheaper by buying two of those and sealing it myself. Cause sealant, like it's just literally paint. It's really not that expensive. Plus we already have some, but since I don't want to paint and let it dry for three days, we're gonna go ahead and just get this and not seal it up. So we got the wood taken care of. I think I've probably got enough scrap wood laying around to build all of our little support braces that we're gonna think of. But we do need to go look for carpet and carpet glue. All right, we made it to the, the carpet section. I'm thinking we might just get a little frisky with it and get, frisky. did I see something or something? That, yeah, that. Sure. Give me some sage grass. Imagine if there's just grass up there. I feel like funny. it would look kind of cool. Yeah, big grass guy. Yeah, big, big grass guy. I don't, they don't have any of, I don't see any tough turf. Oh, maybe up there. Oh, that is, dude, that's totally what that is. Right I'm like kind of tempted. How much, how much is, is the sage green turf? It'd be kind of funny. Who, who else has turf on their boat? Grass. It'd be hilarious. It'd be pretty funny. I feel like this is like, we've always talked about doing it and I feel like this is a great this opportunity. Is the one yeah, the one that's gonna cost the most money, so why not? Yeah, so we only need, so the width is a little, it's like, what I say, 70 inches? No. It's 93. No, length. Oh, that's length. Width was like 70, 70 inches which would be like five, nope, six foot. 72 is six foot. So six foot wide and then call it eight foot long or something like that. How, but how do you, can you glue turf down? Is it like, can you use carpet glue on turf? How do you, how do you secure it? You gotta be. I think there. so. I don't know how, like, because no, that don't they put the little, remember like playing soccer? Yeah, they're like little like rubber. Oh, really? I thought that's what they, I thought that's what it kept down. I thought that's just like part of the material. Really? Turf. I'm not, how do you, how do you secure turf to plywood? That's. Um, we, go, go find somebody. I, yeah, you go find somebody. Can you let find anything? I didn't it right. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. I yeah. like that. Oh, it's like rubber. Oh yeah. I think that That'd would that would stick down. Yeah. I like that. See, you can just take your shoes yeah, off and bare feet. Really no shoes, no service really? or something. It'll tickle you. Yeah. Okay. See, it doesn't have like those rubber. No, no, not inside of it. I think no, that's just pe to keep people it, put keep it like those little rubber beads in them. Is it just to like, like hold it all down? Yeah, yeah it's just for? to um, a little bit more weight, kind of um, a little bit more grip too, like for like football players. Gotcha. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. You need to find some adhesive. Indoor, outdoor. Oh god, that's, that's a lot. You got any less? Indoor, yeah. outdoor carpet adhesive. There right you there. Go. That would probably work, huh? I think that's enough. I don't know how much you use. I would think this, this is a quart. I mean, I guess we are covering a lot of space. It's like five bucks. Yeah, so. true. Okay. Fifteen. So, what's the difference between universal pressure adhesive? What's a pressure adhesive? Easy to apply to paint. Pressure sensor. Oh, with paint roller. No, we don't want that. You want the? It's like basically, uh, like grout kind of thing. Yeah. It's like a putty. And then go get your putty knife. A gallon of it. Yeah, sure. Is it, it don't tell you how many square feet it covers, I assume, yeah. or does it? What about the back? What's that have to say about it? I don't want to read all oh, that. Oh, what is that? Oh, right there. One hundred ninety to one hundred twenty-four square feet in one gallon. So we got. We definitely. Have a there's a slope. If you just do like average, it's like five, and then you flip it and reverse it. Probably like 50 square feet, so that's plenty. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. We we just need some um, spatula looking things. What are they called? The 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 metal things. Like a spreader. Oh, we could just put this on top. A little play mat. Honestly. That, that would kinda be kind of sick. I didn't think about that. If you just covered your deck, that'd be so soft. That'd be pretty It'd be soft. way easier to cut it. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier to cut. <laughs> oh, it's too late, buddy's already got it. Oh, he hasn't cut it yet. So you do it and it's got like, you want to have the ridges. Oh, oh yeah, sure. something, something like that. Oh yeah, right here. That's some. That's a big notch guy there. That's a U notch, there's different notches. Oh. I'll get one with some bigger, just in case like you need it. Yeah, I'll get two of these. How about you get two, two of these and then two of these. A little bit more. Oh god, yeah. That's what I thought it was gonna roll, but it's not. Mila, are you excited? This is gonna be your boat. This is a, we're building this because you're too big for the 10 footer, okay? Your big ass does not fit in the 10 foot boat. 16 footer, yes it does. So this is the boat that we are gonna be working on. Uh, we just got back, we threw these sheets up. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Okay, I planned on making this video in like January, February, and then I came out and measured it, and I was like, ah, this is too much work. And for some reason now, well, it's not nice out, it's raining, but we procrastinated till April. It's like, once you get the fishing bug, right? You're like, you're done with hunting and Travis, I just wanna go fishing. So now I'm like, okay, let's just build this freaking boat. So we got two pieces of plywood on there. One problem is there's like a little piece, I'll show you if I can get this up. Like you see, that's metal right there. The height of that metal, and then the height of the bench, for some reason, it's like four inches difference. Um, most of the time when I build these boats, like that, oh, I didn't build that one, but for example, the deck is flat. This one, if we were to run it, it's like giving it one of those guys. What you say, it says a good calf workout. In case you want some 
some ripped calves. That this is a good deal. What is it? It's six. Six. Inch yeah. So yeah, to get it to where it's like, like up here. That's yeah. perfectly flat. And then look at that gap there. Yeah. Like well, six, it, that's six, a little seven. exaggerated because the other thing should be up a little higher. But yeah. it's still probably four inches, I would yeah. say. Yeah. So we we're gonna lose that hatch there. Um, I haven't decided if we want to rip it out yet. If if we put it down and it seems weird, we can just draw out the rivets and rip the whole thing out. Um, but we're probably not going to put a hatch in it. This is just gonna be a solid deck. Probably just gonna end up running the trolling motor battery back here and then running some wires up there. You should be able to move it. We're not gonna screw it down. So you could. It should be just a nice tight fit. Yeah, it should fit nice and then come duck season, rip it out and we can use it as a duck boat. That's kind of the idea. So putting a hatch in it, it it's cool in theory. Like I've most, I've ever, actually every single one I've built has had a hatch, but it's always the weak spot. After two years of sitting out in the rain, the elements and stuff, that's what ends up rusting out or rotting out or whatever. And so just going with two full sheets of marine grade three quarter inch plywood, it's about as strong as it's gonna get. So I got a question. Let's hear it. May not work. Uh -huh. But what if, like your hatch idea, mm -hmm. what if you just cut a square out of this? Mm -hmm. This is now missing and you can still access that hatch that's already there. You can. Would you're... it make this board weak. really weak? Yeah. Or Which you, you could you enough? could fix that. Yeah, I, I, mean, I know what you're saying. It's that. Board. You would just have to support the back end of it. Mm -hmm. You could do it, yes. Correct. I'd yeah, say let's start with it. We'll start with this. It better if we didn't have to raise this one up. Yeah. Yeah, the that's that's honestly the hardest part of this is gonna be to get the right height. To where it's flat. Listen, this is for you too, buddy. This is the duck boat, but I this is the dangle boat now. I so think they're gonna poop on your turf. They might. Lucy, po Lucy poops in the garage, so it doesn't, I mean, she uh, doesn't. She, kills it. she don't. Yeah, she don't. She goes wherever. Millie, on the other hand, she's a little Lucy's bit more particular. But yeah, uh, Lucy's probably gonna poop. Probably pee too. Yeah. That would kind of suck yeah. on the turf. I, I don't know. The turf looks pretty legit. So rinse. we've got turf here, trolling motor right in there, and then we got a batter. So normally, how I do this is. You divide it down the middle and then you me measure from the middle to the edge and you do that in six inch increments and then you'll get this gradual curve and then you trace it. That sounds like too much math. We're just gonna leave the piece of plywood on here and I'm gonna take a freaking magic marker and I'm gonna run it along there and then subtract the distance from the, like this, basically this right here, the distance between this and this is, you know, maybe like five inches, subtract it around it and then just take the old jigsaw and give her a rip ski. So we're gonna do this in two sections. This is the first one. This one actually, I'm thinking it's gonna be maybe a little bit, actually there's one, there are actually more curves to this one. This one might be a little bit harder, but we're gonna do this one first. This one, I would say like most of it's pretty much covered by that metal piece so there's not really a whole lot to mess up on it this one's going to have a little bit more empty space it's going to, have to be elevated so this is a little bit trickier one so we're going to start with this trace it cut it see if we can get this sucker to fit you guys stay tuned Coming, man, Joe. Right here. You're not Put. tight here. Tight right here. There you go. There you you, you go. can come this way. You're good. How, how close? You if you pick, way. if you pick it up, it might drop. Oh, it. dude, it's in. Smack Sorry. that thing. Yeah. I bet we can beat it. You can probably smack it forward. You ain't gonna get it back out. This looks good though. Yeah. I mean, for first, for first round, you think it's, you think it's good? Let me try smacking it. In. I mean, it always takes crowbar to get it out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just get a rubber mallet. Oh. I meant that way. Uh, It didn't move. Is it not moving? I mean, yeah. it, it's good. That's plenty. I don't need. I mean, it's got there. plenty. Oh, easy. I just want to make sure that was the corner that I thought is is sitting up, right? Nothing's really sitting up. <laughs> this is setting up a little, but I don't know if that's. It ain't going. I think it's sitting on rivets or something. Yeah, probably. We did pretty good on the first round, though. I mean, I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. We, we made it a little big, but I think it'll work. Well, I think we can get this back out. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh look at Easy us! Easy peasy! Look at us! One, two, three. Man, we crushed it. Alright, well, I'm gonna sand this sucker and then we'll put it back. My hand or what? Yeah, I got a little, a little 120 grit. Yeah. I don't remember, I used to know the grits. You know the grits? Why? Oh god no. I took shot class. I think the higher the grit, like that, the, that class didn't pay off. Nah, look, what do you mean it didn't pay off? Look at this! Either way, let's get the sander out. Man, 
Where'd he go? Banjo. Smooth. It's smoother than your ass. Is that what they say? Something like that. They baby's ass. Oh, ba yeah, got it. Same thing. Oh, look at that. You ain't getting. No oh, I just got one. Rip. You maybe get the underside. That is good. It. It's good enough. It's good. Enough. All right. Let's put this thing back in, in place. Now that we're not getting any splinters. I think it's. I. I don't yeah, mind this gap up here. Yeah. I'd rather it sit flush and firm. Give it a jump up there. Let's see what you got. Banjo's the one that's oh. needing the deck for the zero gravity, so we gotta make sure it's up to his True. standard here. Really? Yep. It's all bluegill deck. I wanna get it dirty for you. Look, we're about to put turf. Oh, oh you see so. <laughs> that sounded good. That's good. How's that? Yeah, it's nice. I'd put some support in the middle, maybe. <laughs> oh, really? Do so. right, you, yeah. you, think, you think that's what we need, huh? Oh, yeah. who's on the man back? Hey. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's it? What do you got there, buddy? What were you out there doing? Hey, why are you jumping? Oh, I think I found the problem. She had that. Look, you drag it? Quit eating wood. Boy. She's got a wood chip in her mouth. Lucy. Hey, are you excited? We're getting the old bluegill barge ready for you. You lose stuff in there. Lucy, it's, it's kind of muddy in there. I don't want her paws getting out there, you know? Oh, Millie. God, Millie, you're too big. Millie, wait till we get the deck built. No, wait till we get the deck built. It's going to be all right. All right, so while you're up there, you get down. For some reason, that deck went easier than I expected. Uh, so we got to line this up. Yeah. Well, you could. We could put something. Yeah, I ball it. No, no, no. Hang on. Does that seem straight? No, maybe it is. Yeah. Okay. That? That's pretty good, I think. Straight. All right. Double check. Straight. Straight as an arrow. Yep. All right. My handy dandy marker. Oh. No. Really. Watch yourself, man. Knock me over. Ooh, we're close. We're pushing the ball. Right. How's that going? It's got wet. Yeah, I got wet. So it's sitting a little higher than the other one, right? So you're gonna have water. You're gonna have water pool up there. I might want to rip off a little bit. Well, that maybe because this one was curved. Yeah, this one's curved up. Because right now it's just—it's not even touching anything. It's only just resting on the side rails. Yeah. Like it's not touching a bench or anything. Hey, you could leave a gap, a little French drain, yeah. in between the pieces. Why is it called a French drain? That's what they call it. Yeah. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the French drain. I've never heard of French. Drain. When it's like in the in the concrete and there's like slits yeah, that's and it's long. It's called a French drain. Yeah. Think about it though. We got one what if phone. what if you have a French drain? Mm -hmm. And it would help your water. Water would just go through yeah. the, it would soak through the turf, I assume, right? Yeah. I assume it would go through turf. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sit on top of turf. Now, it don't have to be a big gap by any means, but, you know, leaving a little. Like, just a little less than it is. Because if you do leave a gap, this this doesn't matter if, it, no. if this sits a little higher. My and actually, the water would pool in to the French side. drain. Mm -hmm. My side's. You mean to go after yeah. it? Oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Great job. I think you're just being a weenie when you're hitting it early. Well, I wasn't trying to force. I was going to rip some more <laughs> off. Yeah, the old, French drain. It's the old French drain. You ever seen a French drain in a boat? Now you have. Kind of what we're thinking. We're, this is our cross beam. We need to take this guy out. We got to take all. Well, we got to. We need to sand the sucker probably, don't we? Or it's not really that bad. We flipped actually. it over from where you cut, so that's fine. Oh, really? Put the cross beam and then set it back and hope it goes back together. And carpet it. And carpet it. It's going to be tight. It's a tight one. It's a tight, it's a tight willy here, yeah. Just stick a block under there. That's what mean pulls ever saying this whole time. Well, I know, but I'm saying I didn't realize it would. It would. I thought it was just gonna lay down. Yeah. Now it's easy to measure because it's it's fixed. Yeah. Five inches. He would know. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Boom! We are ready to go. So this is what we got set up. Uh, we've changed the plans a little bit. We're gonna have turfing it while it's on the boat. To get this, look at our contraption. This is our support contraption here. We got four by four cedar beam, a couple two by sixes, and um, yeah, we're gonna hope for the best here. So we've got a two by six right here clamped. Um, so this is gonna actually create support for the backboard and the front board. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this guy down and then work on our center support, which is like I said, it's gonna be a beam um, and then like a crossways board to prevent it from like one side to side. And then throw the other piece of wood on top of it, screw that down and support structurally should be good. And then we'll have to like, you know, put the glue and stuff on it. What are you thinking there? Just a little under 16. 16, huh? Yeah, probably like 15 in. Okay. Is there a good, uh, good flat spot down there? Yeah, and right on this, like this guy right here. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see what we got here. We got some screws. 
Oh god, yeah. We're about to be. Don't stick your hand down. You're gonna be, yeah. you're gonna get shanked. Yeah, it's a little, long, little long, but. See, so yes, it sucked it all in there. So we got these clamps on it, and we're gonna go ahead and screw, screw this guy down, and then, like I said, put, figure out the sports down there, and then slap the other board on. We should be good to go. nowhere boys we got the center beam block Lucy Lucy how you doing there buddy so now we, we throw this guy in there and then screw him down so we we made it we made it a little less complicated. we did one vertical seater for support not the most supportive thing but good enough I think and give it the old give it the old smack oh hang on now hang on I'll give it the old smackaroo you got flush. it flush yeah, you're good. really No more French drain either. We, 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 that didn't make any sense with the board underneath, but why don't you jump, give it, give it a jump. What happens when you jump on this sucker? I want to know the structural integrity of this area. We, no, I wouldn't worry the back is quite as much, but the front here, because we got to kind of see where it's going to settle, you know? Uh, on the front. Yeah, just, just give the old lean. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you is it you got it dirty. Oh yeah, this is solid. Is that solid? Oh yeah. How's that side feel? Yeah. She ain't going nowhere? No, she ain't so this is, what do you think about level, level wise? Do you think, you think the water's running that way? Yeah, I don't think it's running this way. I wouldn't think so either. Shoo! Here we are folks, we got everything. Your muddy shoes off this nice grass. Look, that doesn't It's help. gone now. We got the turf laid out. This thing's feeling good. It's solid. This is as solid as it gets. So, this is kind of what the turf looks like. I think this is the coolest looking boat. I've never seen a boat that looks like this before. I mean, like, how's that feel? It's pretty soft. And that, like your, I don't think your hooks are gonna get caught in there either. Like that's the hardest. I didn't thing even about think of that. Your carpet, like I've put like. You, you want me to get yeah. you a clickbait? Yeah. Let me see if. Let me see what the snag ratio is on this. I mean, not too bad. Lucy, what? Where'd you come from, buddy? Lucy, look at this grass. Don't shit on it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> on it. Look, I mean, for pretty much like. That's pretty good. Most carpet wouldn't do that. That's a go. good like. It passed the, the treble test. Come here, Lucy. Come up here. Come on. Oh, oh God. really? You want some help, Lucy? Can't. You ready? Come oh, on, God, Lucy. You're wet. Oh, God, Lucy, why you off. why you yeah, damn? You're so. Lucy, come here. What do you think, buddy? Millie. Millie's Millie. pissed. Millie. Millie. Millie, you're way too big. I'm not lifting you up. Here. She's having to rip a fat fat poop right here. That's fine. Oh, Lucy, God. this is so soft. What do you think of the boat, buddy? You ready to give it a dangle? I'm ready to oh, give it a dangle. Oh, she's about to piss. Lucy, don't do it. <laughs> Imagine yeah, she just, just, just a big old steam. Well, I think, think the dog's approved of this. I, I like it. I mean, it's... I could definitely take a nap on this sucker. Oh, God. Get him, Lucy. Get him. All right, well, next step, now that we got this thing out, is to get the glue ready. And we're going to glue it down. We could trim it. We could... How much excess we got? We might just want to make, like, a rough cut. So we're not dealing with as much fabric, and then we'll, and then we'll glue it down, and then we'll we'll trim it up a little bit. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Hi. Right. Can you sit? Can you sit? You should forget that word again. Hey, excited. sit. Oh, that's such a good dog. That's such a good dog. All right, let's get to gluing. Oh. Hi, buddy. What you thinking? You want to get down so we can glue this, or what? Big dog. Oh, big dog. All right, Banjo, you ready to glue? Yep. Make it all the way out. Oh yeah. 
You think this thing's gonna keep shed like this? Just because no, we're, just just cause we're cutting, cutting it? it? Yeah. That's getting everywhere. Well, look at Millie. Millie, you like the turf, buddy. She was taking a nap up in there. I mean, now you can see what it's really gonna look like. Yeah. So we need to glue That's down. Sick. Looks like he got grass on a boat. I'm not sure about this glue job. I feel like it's just not, that, maybe assume. not enough on there. I don't know. I don't know. Cause, cause carpet, I mean carpet kind of has a little rubber bottom like that, I guess. Maybe we'll do more on the back half. I feel like you can't go too heavy, right? I mean, once, it, once it dries, it dries. Yeah, it just takes longer to dry. All right, we'll start applying some more glue. I'm sticky. Not covered in carpet glue. But look at it. This looks good. We ended up taking uh, a little two by six on the back because we kind of put some glue under it, wrapped it. Oh, Lucy. Oh my <laughs> goodness. She almost made it. <laughs> good catch, man. Yeah. As I say, just don't let her get past the deck. We got glue bombs everywhere. But threw some two by sixes under and clamped them like so, so that way it applies pressure to the carpet or the turf with the glue. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I don't think we did probably quite enough of the glue on the front. We ended up using almost all of it, which we had like half the square footage of what it said. So I feel like we did plenty. I think it's just gotta dry. It's one of them, I mean, this is basically what you're dealing with. So it's gotta, that's gotta be hard. See how it's soft right now? It's gotta, it's gotta harden up and stuff. So we got the turf down. This is what it's gonna look like. So now, Andrew, we gotta get the old troll motor ready. We gotta take this sucker out. Once, once obviously it dries. We're thinking tomorrow it's probably gonna rain, so it might be two days or so. We bought a brand new troll motor for this. And so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get some pieces of wood over there. Probably honestly one two by six would do it. And you stack them like three or four high and it'll kind of raise it up. And we'll probably put it over right over here on this side. And we'll get it ready. We got a battery so we can at least test it today to make sure like everything's functional. Probably maybe, eh, we might. We might run the electrical back there. Otherwise we'll just keep the battery on the deck for now. But this thing's pretty solid. I mean, Pooja and I are both up here and it's, I don't feel like I'm about to bust through it like our other one that we built. That one was that also a couple good. years old, but I mean, so far, I mean, I'm, this is the old river rat. I want to sit there and just, and like, you don't have to worry about the car, like you don't have to wash this. Well, maybe you do, but it, it wouldn't show the stains probably as much as carpet no. at least. So anyways, next thing up is the chum motor. Thing. We got the troll motor on. We got well. Here's here's a problem. Okay, what's what's the deal here? You've got teeny little. I mean, look how small these. I've never in my life. They don't even come close. Why would this trolling motor come with these to go? Like this is a normal battery. I've never seen a battery other than this for for trolling motors. It's normal. And then they give me these little micro ends. Okay. So you need to get your stuff figured out here, pal, because this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We can't even, I mean, we can make sure it works. Guess I can hold it. Let me hold it on here and you hit, did you, did you pinch it? I was trying. Did you pinch the nipple? Hang on, yeah, here you go. Let me pinch the nipple here. Let's see it. I better hope that's on one. That was like 10. It was on 10. Oh, oh. You ready for 100? Yeah, let's see 100. Oh, that's I got it. We're gonna take flight. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a nice breeze. Yeah, that seems pretty legit. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, look at this. So we got this thing ready to go. <laughs> Let's see if it works. <laughs> Tighten this thing down first. Yeah, we haven't tried it. Since we, we haven't tried it since we bolted it down. We did stick it off to one side. That'd be easier to hit the trailer if you go any. <laughs> if you turn. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think this thing's gonna come off though. the deal. I, normally I shoot them out the middle, but that, right. is the prop gonna hit? Uh, whoa, we're close. It's close to hitting the jack. Look at that. Give wow. you the old angle. Yes, yeah, so we set it off to the side. Then you've got ultimate deck space. I mean, we got two beefcakes up oh. here right now. Oh and, yeah. And you could go, you could oh, go we'll move. Go you go three deep up there. Oh yeah, easily. And there's turf, so we're cooler than everybody else. So we got it ready to go. It's raining today, probably raining tomorrow. I got obviously, I, I mean, I got electrical work to do anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix up the electrical and we will see you guys out on the water. Stay tuned. Shoo, we're 
we're vlogging on the GoPro, folks. We uh, forgot the SD card in the vlog camera, so I apologize. But we got the boat here, okay? It is ready to go. The turf is on it. The motor's on it. I re-rigged the battery this morning, put better to like terminal plugs in there, and it's super freaking muddy. But I don't know if you guys can see right there. Those are our geese. Uh, hey, how's it going, geese? They, they made it. They're not dead. They're, they stayed. So we, we brought down a little bit of corn that we found in the, in the shop that we're going to give them here in a second. But uh, boat's looking good. Like I said, I apologize. We're going to have to vlog on the old GoPro today. Um, I just totally blanked on putting the SD card in it. But we are doing some dangling, okay? We got the dangle sticks in the back. We got like four or five of them. We got stuff for bluegill, for bass, for everything. And now we're going to put this thing to the test. Does it float? Does the troll motor work? And can we catch fish? You guys stay tuned. The geese are coming. I gave them some corn. You guys want some corn? Come here. Get some corn. Come on. Look at these guys. I love it. I've Look at these guys. They're coming. Hey, you remember me? Hey, we're still friends, buddy. Come get some corn. Look at them. Look at them. This is so cute. So They're so heavy. Hey, you want some corn? We got some corn. Hey, no, you settle down there, buddy. Stay you said, yeah, the sassy guy still. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. See, this is way better. Oh, so this much. this is working out nice. We got geese that live on the pond. They didn't die. They didn't get KO'd. Come down here every once in a while. Give them some corn. They eat grass and stuff. So like, honestly, they could probably fend for themselves for the most part. But I mean, coming down here, give them corn. It, it, it's nice. We get to kind of like reunite a little bit. But also, I don't have to like babysit them every single day. They got unlimited water. They got unlimited space. They can go run around. They can swim around. They're living their best life out here. I think they prefer it down here by the pond. This is. This is dope. I'm, I'm actually surprised this worked. I thought they would fly away or die or something, but hey, they're big chilling. Anyways, boat's rigged up. Let's get out in the water and catch a couple fish. You guys stay tuned. Bag it up, Terry. Look at these guys. They're so cute. They just hang out. And, and then we got what, Greg back there. But Greg's out the farm. See, Greg Greg likes his life now because he doesn't get harassed by these guys. And these guys like their life because they get a whole pond. And Greg just does Greg things. Greg identifies as a cow, I'm pretty sure. Kind of sketch launching here. My, uh, my boat ramp's not the best. All right, stop there. Let me see if I can push this off. Yep, I'm hanging on. Give it a little push. Oh, is that enough? Yeah, we got it. Oh, God, yeah. We're floating. Oh, yeah. We're floating. Shoo, look at the turf. Look at the geese. They're just hanging out. I love it. All right, well, here comes the moment of truth here. This thing's on 100. We turned it down to maybe to like 50. We got it rigged up. We're just going to leave the battery there for right now. We'll just park the trailer up there, but see if we could deploy this sucker. Make sure this is tight. All right, so far, so good. Oh, gotta hit the power button. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah, she scoots. I'll get you right here. Oh dude, this is sick. Yeah. How's it going? Pretty stable. Dude, this is super stable. I like this. Yeah, this it's better neat. than a 10 footer, huh? Much better. Well, we're gonna try to fish a little bit. Hang out with our friends, the geese. They're just gonna do big geese things, I guess. But I like this so far. It's nice. I mean, you could fit, for sure, two people fishing up here. You could get another guy in the back. But we're gonna start giving it the angle. What are you, what are you trying to throw here? I don't know. It's muddy, isn't it? Let me put my Mondos That's on. Gross, yeah. Oh God, it is I didn't muddy. Bring all the old shades. Big rip. Rip. I mean, you ain't yeah. seeing much anyway. It's freaking. Nah. It's muddy. It's sunny out though. Well, we usually throw moving baits in here. So, or you want to take banjo spot and bluegill duty, or what are you thinking here? I can try. You give. Yeah. Why don't you try that? Just to see. To see what. Honorable banjo. Yeah, banjo decided he he's going on a date today big instead of. He, yeah, big vacation guy. He's he said, Nah, you guys got it. How's it going? I said, Banjo, we got bluegill duty today. He said, Nah, you guys got it. So we're just gonna take over bluegill duty. I think you're right on that. Oh, one more down right there yeah there we go yeah i've got a flat banger here uh in this little red color which actually should stand out pretty good so i'm gonna start with that throw it on the old guggen twitch rod i'm just gonna crank the dam see if i can get anything to to smack it and then one place we hadn't really fished i mean we've hardly even fished the pond at all this year but uh one place we hadn't fished is like any of the brush piles or anything like that so we've only fished the dam so that's what we got this boat this boat we're gonna leave we're actually just gonna tie right up to the dock leave it at the dock at all times if it rains well whoever's standing in the back might be, need to be wearing some flip-flops or something like that but the idea is pretty much leave this thing down here just take the battery back and charge it when needed and stuff like that um but this is the backyard pond boat this is the designated dang dangle i can't call it the dangle dinghy i've already named a boat that so we gotta come up with a new name folks you guys need a name in the comment section down below so maybe some with the turf because i feel like we might be the only boat ever to to make it out of the carpet out of turf i like I, on it no regrets so far like none it's comfy it's cozy it looks good so far, far so i'm liking it and these geese are they're following us dude i like this we got i feel like we need more birds like and just leave them down here because then you don't really have to like take care of them but they're they're still your friends you know you can still hang out with them every once in a while. Some ducks would be nice too. Like those big, uh, not even like quacky, the big white ones, but those, what are those ugly ones that we kept? Muscovies? Oh yeah. Muscovies love living on ponds they like this. Ponds. They would big chill on something like this. So you've got the old night crawler on. Like I said, I'm just going to start kind of beating the bank up here a little bit, seeing if we can get anything to pop the old flat banger. Otherwise I got a spinner bait on. We got some click baits. 
We got the old bandito, of course. Once we start getting close to some trees that we can flip mitch. That's my guess is we're gonna catch them on the on like the brush piles and stuff. I don't think it, it's quite quite warm enough for them to be pushed up shallow feeding yet. I could be wrong. I haven't measured the temp yet. Probably never will. But I would my guess would be like mid 50. We also had a bunch of rain yesterday, which probably didn't help things clarity wise or probably temperature wise. So, but the boat, dude, this is the deal. Like this this like this is boat. my new favorite boat yeah. by far. I'm a big John boat guy in general. Like I love all the boats I have, but I like a good John boat. One, you, you kind of beat it up and it can take it. It can take the abuse and uh, and they're just lightweight. You can get in a nice shallow water. I don't know. This might this might take the cake for my favorite boat that I have right now. It's it's the perfect size for pond fishing, but we can still take the sucker on the river. We can still bow fish out of it. We can still take it on lakes. It's it's an all in one. If you guys are looking to get a boat and you, you know, you're balling on a budget, you ain't trying to get one of them big fancy glitter slide looking things. This deal. I mean, you can go fish a bass tournament in this. You go catch catfish. You go throw some of them jugs out there. You can go bow fish and you can shoot a duck this is an all-in-one this is this is my favorite my favorite boat so far we'll make this boat better is if i started catching fish though i don't think they're very active pulled it you ain't caught a bluegill yet so the geese are swimming oh they're getting a drink oh they're so cute i like them so much more at the pond oh oh that was either a stick someone touch it that might have been a stick there's a nice stick right there all right i'm lining i'm lining up for the shot dreams are made up here that's it right across the point by the time it hits the point it's gonna have some nice depth Oh, the teal. We got teal landed. See, they, oh, what, oh, I don't know. They love the reverse, but they don't ever come down here during season. It's, I'm not sure the fish are feeling it today. About to, oh, that's one. Dude, oh my God, that was a giant, dude. I'm serious, that was a giant fish. Yes. Like that might've been one of our big Sheila five, six pounders. Yes, that was the head shaking, dude. I saw the rock yes. for a sec. Okay, hey, that, Keeping out that spot, we'll have to come back to. That was, I I don't want to jinx it, but that might've been one of them five, six pounders we got in here when we only got about two of them. That was big donkey. She was, sh I literally popped it and I held my rod and it was just slam, slam, just shaking its rod, shaking the tip of the rod and it came right off. Big freaking rip. All right, I'm getting too many weeds, boys. We're switching up. We gotta go to the old spinner bait. Gotta go to the old zinger. Oh, there's a fish. Wait, how? Huh? He hit the spinner bait on the fall on the drop. It might be a good one too, dude. Feels pretty decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the? I hit it on the head. I hit it on the head. What up, big Sheila? First fish. That's a pretty big one. Okay. Right now. A little skinny. A little skinny. Not bad. It's I'll, I'll tell you, he's guy. long though. He's longer than the stunted class. Yeah, we're about to hit that. He's longer than the stunted class. He just needs to get a little girth on him, but. Hey, well, that was first fish in the new boat. He literally hit it as it, and that was up on the bank. So maybe I'm, maybe I was just on the wrong bait. Maybe they want that spinner bait, that little flashy flash. Cause he was probably less than a foot of water. Oh, oh dude, I got smoked. Really? Yeah. Dude, they like the spinner bait. You know. Oh, there's one. Really? Yeah, it might be a little guy though. He's, he, he's hooked up. He, oh yeah, he's on, son. Yeah, that's the old, that's the old uh, coal there's size your, there. Your problem, that's the one you want to get out of here, folks. Today we're not restocking, or we're not stocking the cabin pond. Today we're just giving it a dangle, but that is that is the size you want to get rid of. The one I caught before, I'd probably leave in here. That size, I'd take out and go throw in the other pond. He's just a little too small. They're good size. I mean, they're thick. They look healthy. Can you get it on the fall as well? Yeah, they're they're eating it slow. Like I'm I'm almost working this like a kind of like a jig. I'm not just I'm not just cranking it like this. I'm kind of like doing one of these letting it fall picking it back up just kind of like a slow a slow drag i don't think they're quite active but all right folks i'm retiring the old spinner getting some weeds on it i'm gonna start we basically worked our way down fast we're gonna work our way back slow going against the wind and i'm gonna throw the old cheeto bandito it's the classic a little tungsten weight on there find us a nice bush like that give the old flip and hang on tight oh there's fish what did i just say it's almost like I know what I'm saying. Oh! Oh, God. See you later. That was about the size of the first Yeah, that was a little, little thicker guy. A little bigger. So I, I just said slow it down, pick up. Look, it, look, it just called the shot right there. That was my first cast, okay? And uh, my drag was loose, and that's why I lost that fish. So I set the hook and went, <laughs> rookie mistake. Oh, that's a fish. Calling it right now. Calling it. That's the old juice spot. What I say? Oh goodness! Goodness, guy. This could be a good one, son. Oh, he might have just had me in the bush. Woo! 
okay now yes get in the boat see that's these are bigger than last year's dude like look how chunky he is see i wouldn't really want to get rid of him no he's good these are bigger than last year i wonder if they just grew or or what their deal is that's that's a little chunky guy boom called the shot again folks called the shot when you got that old bandito on there luck's on your side i'll tell you what even when it's been cold been rainy now it's windy muddy water it don't matter because a fish like that has absolutely unlimited food in a place like this oh there's a fish oh yeah oh we're hooked up right off the point okay i see you i see you come on junior get up in here oh he munched it son she gone oh yeah good night Shoo, see you later buddy Melly, Lucy, we missed you on our fishing adventure. We didn't bring them. Well, we don't want them to scare the geese. Also, didn't want them running around the boat too much um, since we're just trying to get, get, get I guess, an idea of what, what it's like. But we, we liked it so far. It worked out good. Um, we thought that turning a John boat to bass boat would be a nice little fun project, but since it was raining over the last couple of days, it gives us something to do on the inside. Now, we're ready. We are full-blown ready to give it a dangle at any point. We left the boat down there at the pond, and we've brought the battery back, so you put it on the charger. When you want to go fishing, you just grab the charger and grab your gear and go. And now we've got a certified fishing vehicle for the pond but we do need your guys help in the comment section down below naming it Wait, we need a new one. name huh what if you call it the putter the putter pool jet thinks the putter i think something with the turf we need your guys's creativity in the comment section down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace